What's going on guys? My name is Justin Fu and I'm joined here today by MJ and Jessica. And today we're gonna to be taking shots with MJ and Justin. Alright guys, so I'm super excited to be, for the first time, really in front of the camera. Most of the times, as a production manager and a brand director, I'm behind the lens. So, you know, and being able to be more personal with you guys and be in front of the lens is going to be something super exciting. And the only way I wanted to do that was with good company. So today, that's why we have uh, MJ here with me and his significant other, Jessica. Uh, MJ is one of the leaders at Loft & Bear. Uh, which is a artisanal vodka brand out of Los Angeles. And uh, the reason why today is gonna be fun is because we're doing a spin on our interview process. We're not just gonna be answering questions. The idea here for, here for us is to get loose and uh, to be more candid with you guys. So before we answer each question, we're gonna be taking shots. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how this goes. Good thing there's only six questions, so we'll only be taking six shots today. Um, but before, half shots, half shots, half shots, half shots. <laughs> yeah, full shots. Uh, so we're not gonna. The goal isn't to be belligerent and drunk. The goal is to just loosen up and uh, be more candid and raw with you guys. Mm -hmm. But before we get going with the interview process and taking these shots, I wanted to pass it over to MJ to tell you guys a little bit more about um, this vodka that we're gonna be drinking. So take it. Thanks, away. man. Awesome. Yeah, that's I great. Know. Thanks. Um, yeah. So I thought this would be a, a great opportunity to collab with Justin because. Our vodka aims to be more than just a vodka. We try to focus on being able to act as a catalyst and a lubricant um, to kind of create conversation and uh, boost the entrepreneurial spirit. So I think this is a perfect opportunity to showcase that. So I'm excited, man. Yeah, me too. I'm glad you can make it, dude. You guys of came course. a long way, so I appreciate you guys making I'm sorry. the time. We're late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're late. Not I wasn't going to say what he said, so it is what it is. All right, man. You ready to get started? Always, baby. All right, let's do it. All right, so before we get started, I need to introduce you guys to uh, Jessica. She's going to be our lead interviewer today. Uh, she's gonna be asking us the questions. She has some surprises for us that we're not really too sure what's gonna happen. So uh, we're gonna leave it in her hands and cross our fingers and hope for the best. <laughs> so uh, let's do it. Cheers, man. Cheers, down, man. down. Mm -hmm. Down, up, down. Down, up, down, down, yep. ah. The next shot is gonna be more romantic, okay? Oh my god. Uh, that was great. Good though. That was really good. Yeah, 10 a.m. Yeah, 10 a.m. <laughs> Just letting you guys know, it's like 10 a.m. right now, and we're like straight up doing shots in the morning, but it's good. That was it's good. good. See? Was now like, don't you feel like you wanna talk yeah. about entrepreneurship? No, you ready, guys? <laughs> okay, I know already a lot about you, but I wanna know more about you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Awesome, cool. Well, uh, my name is Justin Fu. Uh, I'm 26 years old, and I am ethnicity-wise, I'm full Vietnamese. Nice. Uh, yeah. Hi. What's up, man? High five. You're Vietnamese too, right? I know, but I just, I'm just. Just get tell the world. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I am uh, 26 years old, Vietnamese, uh, second generation here mm -hmm. in the states. Um, mother and father, grandparents, the whole deal were immigrants from Vietnam. They left after 1975 uh, and came here with pretty much nothing. A dime and a hope and a dream in their pockets and uh, uh, yeah, and that's how I came here today. Grew up in that type of environment and uh, right now I'm living in Costa Mesa, California mm -hmm. and I am the current founder uh, and owner of Justin Food Media. Yeah. It's a digital marketing agency based right here out of Costa Mesa, California. Mm -hmm. um, we do everything from video production to anything in the digital marketing world. So. Um, that's that's pretty much me in a nutshell. All right, so I don't know anything about MJ though. <laughs> so as opposed to Jessica, I want to know more about you, your story, what you're up to nowadays, and I'm sure the audience does too. So let me know. Yeah. So uh, my name is MJ Min Jeffrey. Uh, Min is actually Vietnamese, so I'm right. full blood Vietnamese. There we well. go. What's up, brother? Uh, what's up, man? <laughs> uh, I grew up in San Francisco, California. Both of my parents immigrated as well. Um, so I kind of always had that immigrant hustle in me and always wanted to pursue entrepreneurial paths. Um, I'm 24 now, so I'm, I'm working with uh, 
Loft and Bear as, as uh, the business manager. Mm -hmm. So I kind of oversee overall business efficiency and sales, marketing, operations, stuff like that. So, I mean, it's awesome because we get to collaborate with a lot of cool companies. Like yeah. Google, Tesla, Equinox. Oh, um, so I get to meet a lot of like-minded people like you. So. All right. Nice. That's fun. How long have you been with them now? Almost two years, dude. Yeah. I, 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 I interned with them. Um, after college, yeah, I, I've been with them for two years now. Wow. So yeah. you went from intern to just yeah. leading operations pretty much. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And you enjoying it? I'm enjoying it. A lot of awesome things in the back. Yeah. yeah. Quick question, favorite part of favorite part of the whole the whole position right now? Uh, you know, in our, in our brand position doesn't really matter. Yeah. I, I think team is huge. Uh, I, I really enjoy spending time with um, everyone on the team. They're like a secondary family to me. Like. Just and I go to everything together. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, they're 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 a family. So we always have each other's back. Sure. It's the best aspect. Yeah. yeah. I like to call it like it's a family business. You know what I mean? Yes. Like the the business side still needs to be there because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you still got to pay bills. You still got to make clients happy. Right. And we're both in that client service market where we have people to right. satisfy. Mm -hmm. So if you have that nice bend between like family affair and everyone's like happy, love, and supportive, and then they know how to switch that over to mm -hmm. okay, let's get serious and and do some business. I think mm -hmm. that's like a nice blend of both, and it sounds like yeah. you guys have that. Yeah, it's. I think our owner Paul has always had that mindset in his mind. So yeah, it's always been a parent in the company business. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing. Man. I appreciate yeah, of that. Course. Thanks for having me. Yeah, for sure. Give me your two most important tips that you give to starting entrepreneurs that don't have a lot of start capital mm -hmm. on what they could do now with the two items that they do have, which is time enough. For an organization to function properly, mm -hmm. you need to have category experts on your team, right? Trust everyone and what they do really, really well. Right. And a lot of times when people look at digital marketing, they're like, oh my gosh, this is a behemoth. Like, where do I start? Yeah. Like, I start with a personal website because that's your main landing page, right? That's your brand, that's your main business, that's what people see at the end of the day. Clients, mm -hmm. and when we talk about like revenue conversion, like what's making money on the website, not taking money.